Here we are in the edition, and I'm back after a little <laughs> video vacation. Um, definitely been quite busy. We were harvesting one of our goats uh, for our first harvest. Uh, you know, kind of getting more of our feet wet in different areas of the homesteading here, but we definitely harvested our first goat. Little strange, but there's definitely some meat on there for us you know, to stock away and cut up and we'll be feeding some to the dogs as well. And uh, a lot of the different stuff to the cats and there, here comes one right now, hearing me probably talk. So they want, give me more, more of that. They probably ate a bunch of it. We got some more stashed away, but here we are in the Urship. In the last couple of weeks, we definitely have dipped into the negative temperatures and it's gotten very, very cold outside. And surprisingly, in here, as cold as that low temperature is, 26 degrees, you know, compared to the negatives outside, I mean, that is, you'd say, maybe mid-fall kind of temperatures still. You know, and even, even still, like today, it's it's nine about 9 degrees outside and kind of intermittent clouds and sun, and it definitely is very cloudy at the moment so we've only got part we don't have all of our insulation done on the roof so that's kind of you know part of what will be the experiment through this winter and how the temperatures fluctuate and whatnot but you can even see you know we've even gotten up to 85 degrees in here uh, which is crazy to to see and even on a cloudy day like this when it's you know single digits outside it's dipped into the negatives overnight and that's the lowest that it's gotten is 26 and we're still growing plants you know we still have the strawberry plants i mean everything's still doing pretty good the celery is a little kind of weirded about it uh, weirded out about it uh, if i can get my words together but it's crazy to see how everything has reacted and uh, the peppers definitely didn't take the cold very well. These buckets were outside before. Uh, we got a bit more supplies kind of in. I've got more of the solar stuff, so we'll have a bit more power going on in here. Yeah, I've got a separate video I want to make about these heaters that I'm going to use in here in conjunction with the rocket stove. So stay tuned for that video. So, But other than that, look, I mean, we've got trees still going. We've got the mulberry tree the fig tree, the clementine tree, the lemon, um, the moringa kind of stopped, so it didn't like too cold. I think it, it doesn't like below 50 degrees, so that makes sense. And that's great, though. I mean, everything's still doing pretty freaking good. And I've got kind of boxes around all over the place, but even still, we're looking at the inside temperature of the addition here, if I can get focus. 34 is degree is the low so what is that five degrees more than out there you know and i don't think all of this is completely you know all the gaps are closed up on it so that's kind of one thing oh, there's the cat another cat trying to figure out who's coming out but 48 degrees in here i had the door closed so that you know it's insulating itself obviously and when I open the doors and stuff like that. So I like open the doors on the sunnier days because then it will let all the heat that's building up inside of there in, into here. And eventually it'll kind of equalize out. So by the end of the day, it should equalize out. And honestly, I mean, it's pretty impressive to see that that's the lowest temperature that we've gotten inside of here without, without a fire going, mind you, without a fire going like we've been kind of figuring out if we wanted to the other day and we didn't so it it's been a continuous experiment honestly which is really cool to see that without a fire we've dipped into the the negative temperatures it still stayed you know at least 34 degrees overnight for however long and then the sun came in and started warming things up on top of me coming in and nika uh, opening the door and closing it at night too uh, kind of our temperature control a little bit <laughs> but this is pretty cool to see so far 
that all the plant we've got plants that are still green and still growing some of the strawberries i think some of these transplants are a little weirded out but that's probably partially they're, they're transplanted they're not so established uh, but they're strawberries too they're they're gonna go dormant eventually maybe we'll see that's kind of part of the experiment to see if they'll make it through all the way till next spring and then they'll just keep growing and then they'll be off to that much better of a foot hopefully because it'll be a gradual increase into the spring and, and into the summer so we'll see but all these plants are doing great in here for the temperatures that have been going on so and we're still gonna keep going with the experiment i mean eventually i think we're we'll uh, maybe once we get into January um, beginning or maybe middle, you know, if the cold starts kind of getting real cold consistently during the day and whatnot, we'll see. That's kind of the, I think the cool thing is because our house personally, even if it's like minus 20 outside, if the sun's even shining like this, it's still 70 degrees in the house. So uh, that's a separate video I, I can update on as well. You know, how does our house do during all this cold as well because this is only year one of the addition going through a winter so it's not the back mound isn't all the way charged up yet they kind of say it takes about two years for it to get kind of more acclimated in the temperature to be uh, to become stable so we'll see and I mean will be i mean sitting in the 60s i don't think the house even y'all yeah, have to make a separate one because the house hasn't even uh gone below uh like 62 degrees you know even through all these negatives without a uh, fire going all the time and stuff like that i mean that's kind of the cool thing especially how we've done the rocket stoves and once we get this rocket stove going in here it'll definitely start holding probably more temperature because the pipe is buried in the floor We'll start building that heat up more in the floor to help it radiate up into the room here. And then on top of the barrel kicking out heat, we've got the fan also to kind of blow it around too. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update because uh, hopefully no one thought I just forgot about <laughs> everything going on. I had things going on, a little busy, got caught up where I couldn't really make videos. So that was part of it. But we got more videos to, to do because... We'll get out on some of these nice days to actually do a couple things. I need to do the solar stuff. That's what I got boxes for. So I'm going to get more solar stuff and do a video about those heaters. I'm going to plug in into here and show people a little bit what what uh, is kind of the benefit of those to help supplement the rocket stove. So, you know, this is where we're sitting. We've got plants still growing. Uh, it's single digits outside and we're still, you know, it's 48 degrees in here right now and which is awesome because that's still uh a nine or what is that nine or ten degree difference uh no sorry <laughs> a 32 uh, 31 or 30 degree difference something like that i mean and then it's 52 out here so i mean 42 degree difference 43 what is that yeah 42 43 degree difference uh, compared to outside which is amazing you know it feels pretty good in here uh, compared to outside especially so and we still have plants growing so yeah stay tuned for more updates because I could do a little separate one on the annex the annex is I mean all these airships are so different because I made them kind of different over the year uh, these last three years so the annex sits a bit different actually in temperature and all that compared to even over here so maybe I'll do an update on that but stay tuned this is an update on just the cold and snow and how this edition Earthship is handling the uh, mountainous Montana winters out here. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Remember, comment too if anyone has any questions or things they want me to video and talk about what we're doing here on our homestead with the Earthships and um, just kind of the permaculture designs and, and gardening and stuff like that. Definitely leave comments or questions um yeah share videos uh yeah just help me get more subscribers to help people see more videos so i can kind of get more uh content out that uh, is what people are looking for so thank you and everyone stay tuned for the next video as we detail our winner through 
the addition without a fire and plants going and we'll show just kind of all the other little tidbits that we're doing throughout the winter time here.